Well, uh, good morning. Good morning. Well, I've, I've not been here for, I've missed us for some Mondays and Friday in the last days. So can somebody do a recap for us, what we did, what we have been learning on, who has been taking, good, so can do a recap. Who was here last Friday? Everybody. Who was here on Monday? Everybody. Everybody. Oh yeah, do a recap for Monday. I was not here on Monday. Okay. But again, Monday. On Monday, everybody spoke about the different things they learned from the training. Some spoke about stress. Some spoke about uh, secrets, especially the drivers. Some also spoke about speak and seeking knowledge. Increasing the knowledge base and the last Friday. No, sir. We spoke about it and spoke about how we use this in the working environment. Okay. All right. So last Friday. That was Monday. Last Friday. Okay, the project manager is not here. Eh? Okay, today is 15th of the month of February. It means you spend six weeks out of 54 weeks. So you have 49 left, I'll be 48 there about left. Can you see how far it is running? If you don't break your year into weeks, you won't know how fast it is going. We will have 54 weeks, is it not? Eh? <laughs> Thank you. We have 52 weeks. Six is gone. What do you have left? 40, 46. Can you see how close 46 is? To 26. Somebody says it's not close, they have 20. But it's very close. So, what have I used the last six weeks to do? What have I used the last six weeks to do out of 52? Can you ask yourself that question? What have I used the last six weeks to do? Have I planted? Is my seed growing? What stage is the fruit or the seed I have planted? Or oh, I've not even started planting at all. I'm still looking for a seed to plant. Oh, I have so many seeds in my hand, I don't know which one I will plant. Which one are you? Okay, so let's come to this month. I'm sure we all set our goals for ourselves for the month. And I see hands. Everybody have goals. I have. You have goals for the month. So I'm going to call. Tell me your three goals, your work goal for this month. We're supposed to do 20. That is five per week. Key goals, core goals. When I read some people sending me their work plan, I laughed. Because I can see that we are still finding it difficult to set goals. I can see a lot of us finding it very difficult to set goals. Maybe God will help us to be able to share with you that one day here. <coughs> but we have learned so much that I don't think it is okay to continue to teach. Let us continue to review and 
sharpen what we have learned during the training. A lot was loaded onto us. A lot. And you know one funny thing? Me, I don't know about you. You can say 1,000 things. It is one out of all that 1,000 that is actually the word that turns me around. Just one. To just spark the fire. So everywhere you go, you must look for your word that will spark that fire inside you. Everywhere you go. Because that word is there for you. And it must really spark the fire. People will know that there is a fire in this guy's bowl. I've read several books and every time I read, it's one word, it's one line, it's one sentence, it's one profound thing that I pick from that word. I'm saying it again. The day you discover the power inside you, you will never be happy to go to bed without reviewing how much of that power you have used. Almost in every village you go all over the world, there are rivers. Is it true? Abby? Nobody is saying anything. There are rivers. But do you know that from that river, some people choose to catch fish? Correct? They just go there, they catch fish. Hmm? And then from that same river, some people fish to build their houses. True? From that river, some people fish to feed their animals. From that river, somebody chose to create electric current. Hello. Same river. The same river. Somebody put the water together, collected it, and then what do you call that magnetic uh, force that rolls the turbines? What do you call it? An engineer? You don't know. But somebody chose to do that. The same river. So whenever you sit down, you are a box of potential. You are that river. It's what you choose to use your life to do. I love to go to the red streets anytime I'm outside Nigeria. And people ask me, why do I like to go there? I see how many beauties, how many beauties, elegantly beautiful, wives of queens, prime ministers, you understand? Wives of people who have set up companies who chose to sell their body on the red streets. In the red streets, in one of the countries, women actually stand in a show glass, almost wearing nothing. So you can actually see what you are buying. How many of us know that? Yes. They stand in show glasses. You, you pass in show glasses. No, I'm not saying show glass. You pick. That's what some people chose. And you know, the funny thing is that it's easy to just say, mm, these people are not serious. Is that correct? What about the man who wakes up early in the morning and what he chooses to do is to get drunk? You may think those people's own is too far, too far from here. What about somebody who wakes up in the morning, all he wants to do is to probably listen to music or start calling people or, you understand? A lot of things that you do that is not different from somebody on the red streets. But you are that water, a big pool of river that can generate any kind of current provided it is converted to that use. So we have been training here, a lot have been discussed and I don't feel a sense that we should continue to load ourselves until we fully begin to utilize what we have. So we all set out goals. What was your goal? Tell me five of your goals. You're supposed to do 20. You need goals, fundamental goal, key goals. You didn't you set it up? Didn't you send it? 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So tell us now. Well, one of the things I plan to achieve in this uh, month of February is my stock.